Hello and welcome back to Prison Architect. So, you can see the prison is pretty much as it was when last we left it. We are expecting prisoners in the morning and we are coming up to midnight. Now, I'm waiting for midnight before I hire some guards, because that way I don't have to pay their wages twice, because um, midnight is when all expenses get settled up. But there are some things I want my workmen to start doing in preparation for when these prisoners arrive. So I'm going to pause it right now and we'll take a look at this and see what it is we've got. Um, right, so we've got a fence down there with a staff door in the wrong position by the look of it. Oh no, or is that staff door open? Uh, that staff door is probably in a locked open position because all doors are until the prisoners arrive. So we do have a straight line from there to the entrance, uh, more or less. Um, so we've got double dale, uh, double dale, double double jail doors there, which is what's going to actually secure our prison. But there's a few other things that I want my guys doing. Um, let's go materials. Uh, where are the fences? Fences. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure the prisoners don't just run away from the yard and just wander around this bit there until I'm ready for them to do so. So we're going to fence that off there. Um, similarly, I want... I'm thinking that all this stuff up there is going to be prison... No, no, I don't need that much room. I think I do continue it in line with this. Basically from there... Where does that deliveries go out to? Out there, there. That's going to be uh, staff only stuff. So when I want to put in security stations, a uh, place for guard dogs and so on, that that can go up there. Um, prisoners need to have access to the uh, to the deliveries for when the workshops are up and running. So the workshops are probably going to go here. Um, I'm thinking that. The prisoners will be brought in via this door there. Or this is or this is the way um, through this holding cell might be how prisoners will access the workshops. I'm not too certain on that yet though. So I just wanna Let's do that. I'm just sort of demarcating stuff with fences. Uh, fences don't actually cost any money, and it's just sort of trying to get it straight in my brain how stuff is going to work. Um, I can lock that jail door closed, but then the prisoners will have to come through this way. But that's okay, because this is... Um, that's a spare room right now. That is going to be the laundry. They really need, uh, need, uh, need their own way in, don't they? Ah, I'm overthinking it. We'll just... We'll, um, I will improvise as and when the prisoners arrive. But there's a few things I wanted to do is the prisoners need some form of entertainment and one of the good things is, is you can just put stuff in the canteen and they will use it. Um, let me let me go have a look. I, I, I was also thinking that it would be good to have a toilet block here in the canteen because during eat time that, that, uh, that's what it's called when the prisoners are, shed, are scheduled to eat their meals eat they are not allowed to leave the canteen so sometimes though that you know they have certain bodily needs and so on. Because eat time is going to come after work time. So I'm thinking I'm going to have two four-hour shifts of working, and then there'll be two hours of eat. So I really want the prisoners to be able to relieve themselves. So we're going to go to objects. Um, hmm. And I'm pretty certain that they will, uh, will, will be able to use these things. What am I looking for? Toilets. It's always way, uh, way at the beginning of the list, which uh, which take takes me by surprise. Um, how do I rotate? I thought it was Q and E. Oh no, it's middle mouse button in this game, isn't it? Uh, I'm getting it mixed up with um, with RimWorld. So what is it? Um, one, two. Hmm. This unfortunately is a is like an even number. So let's. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and oh no, I can just do that, can't I? 
like so. And now we're going to put in some walls because you know I do I put do I put in walls? Yes, I'll I'll give them um, I will give them their privacy. I've got a reasonable pile of cash left, so I'm gonna I don't want to skimp too much. And then we will. Hmm. Nope, that'll do. That'll do. So then we go objects and doors. And we'll throw those in there. So that's, that's going to help. The other thing they're going to want is um, some entertainment and stuff in there. So we're going to put in some phones, because that lets them phone their families. Which way do these go? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, let's make use of this room here, shall we? So, we'll have a phone booth like that. So we'll have three phone booths and three televisions. Which way is the front? That is, okay. And we'll put in three televisions. One, two, three. So that's reasonable now. So, so when they're in the canteen, and there's nothing stopping them going into the canteen even when it isn't eat time. So that's some very basic um, family and entertainment needs fulfilled. Um, the holding cell is already here. I did realize that what I need to do is mark this as the shower. Room requirements. Shower head. Have you not... Do you not have shower heads? Past shower head. Why are you? Oh, is it just because it's? It's just. Um, it's because it's paused. Hmm. Failed. Enclosed. Surrounded by walls and doors. You are surrounded by walls and doors. Why are you not counting as a holding cell? Is it because I added the shower? Hmm. Let me, let me try putting these back to being a holding cell. Right, okay, that's that's annoying. Will they use these showers if they're not designated as showers? Hmm. I kinda hope they would. Well, we're gonna have to see. I um I can't designate them. I mean there's walls, there's doors. It's a separate area. I don't understand why that isn't working. What if I designate more individually? Just like that. Nope, the moment I do that, that breaks. Hmm. Not too sure what's going on there. Okay, we'll have to leave that for now. So, oh dear, that was a bit of a lag. Um, prisoners are going to come in. There is a staff door there, and I've put those fences in, gave them the basic entertainments. There are two chefs in the kitchen. Yes, there are. There are two chefs there. Right, the other thing I need to do is I need to sort out the regime. The regime is the schedule the prisoners have to keep. So, uh, meal quality, medium, meal variety, medium. I'll leave it on those for now, but I need to think about these. So, prisoners arrive at 8 a.m., so it can take a while for the guards to grab them and bring them to their cells and so on. So I don't think I want eat to be at eight. Uh, we're going to set an eat at ten and eleven, like so. Um, and then I want four hours of work before the eat. Now that's because I'm going to be putting prisoners to work in the kitchens. So if there isn't any work time for the prisoners before the eat, then they won't be working in the kitchen. So I'm going to try and make it so I only actually have two professional chefs and the rest are going to be the prisoners. So they'll um, wake up at six, or do I wake them at, f um, at five? Yeah, we're going to wake them at five with a... Sh actually, we don't, uh, we don't have any shower blocks at the moment. So they're going to get an extra hours... No, no, we'll give them... There we go. We'll give them a bit, a bit of free time. That will turn into shower time. Then they will uh, work for four hours and eat at ten. 
So if they're eating at 10... Th there's going to be a second eat later on, but I'm not quite sure when yet. Um, then we want to give them plenty of free time to... Well, some free time to see to their needs. Although there is entertainment and stuff in there already, isn't there? Hmm. So what if we made it just one hour of free time then? And then we put them to work for another four hours. One, two, three, four. And then we'll have two hours of eat at five. That seems way too early for for the second eat. I mean if they've if they're eating at ten. Hmm. I mean eight and nine seems seems better for that. So one, two, three, four hours of work. One, two, three, four. Let me just set this to free time. How much sleep do they have? Uh, 11 till 5. That's 6 hours sleep. That should be enough. Hmm. Pondering and pondering. Obviously this would be free time there as well. That's quite a block of free time right, right in the middle of the day. What if I do move this meal forwards a bit? Okay, so that would be... That, I suppose I really should think about the fact that that is going to be shower time at some point. Because it's a good idea to get uh, get the prisoners up and force them to wash. But do I really need to do that? I mean, if they if they're feeling dirty, they will go and wash uh, go and wash themselves. So, so let me see. This is um, six hours of sleep, an hour of free time to see to their ablutions if they want. Then we'll have work time and eat. Then two hours of free time. Because during the day is when visitors show up. Visitors show up from 8 till 8. So maybe we will shove this shove this back a bit. Um, if we shove that eat time back by an hour. That gives them a little more free time during the day, which is when their families uh, will be meeting. It also makes this eat and that eat slight, slightly further apart. So... Um, hour in the morning, get to work, eat, some free time, work and eat, and then a little bit of free time before you have to go to your cells at 11. I like that. That makes sense. Okay, currently we have eight staff, no guards yet, only two administrators. Uh, we're open for prisoners, we don't know about that stuff yet. Um, we're going to get this grant once we've got our basic prisoners in place. Finances... Yep, current valuation of the prison is 60,000, which I think is more or less what I started with. <laughs> okay, um... Let me start time again. Watch these guys. Oh yes, I need to plumb, uh, plumb that in, don't I? Um, utilities, we're going to need water pipes. I, rather than cutting through the administration block, let's... Bring the large water pipe out to here because it will be able to service the the, um, the cell blocks which are going to go down there. And then we'll run a small pipe like so through the toilets. And we'll put a pipe valve there. So if necessary we can turn off the water flowing to those toilets. Okay, that should work. Okay, that is um, uh, middle. Uh, that is midnight. So we'll go to staff, and we'll hire two guards. Oops, I just hired a third. Okay, we'll have three guards. <laughs> I thought right hand mouse button would cancel that. Let's just hit escape. So we've got three guards. They're just going to wander around. Um, the only other thing I want to do is bureaucracy. While we've got the money, I want to investigate and unlock 
a lot of, um, a lot of this stuff. So let's start getting mental health. That way we'll have a psychologist who can tell us what the um, what they need. Lawyers currently serves no purpose, so we'll ignore that. But we do need prison labour. Um, uh, allows you to put your prisoners to work around your prison, cooking, cleaning, etc. And that's the only way we can get a working laundry. So, um, cleaning, that's the only way we can get a cleaning cupboard up and running. Groundskeeper will leave off for now. I don't need clone, that's just an easy way of copying, um, of copying cells and stuff from one place to another. We don't need land expansion yet. We do need patrols, contraband and deployments, and prison policy. And we can't get dogs until we've got patrols. So, there we go. Oh, did I just hit the bang up button? I don't think I did. Okay. Um, anything else I need to do before... Are you actually going to put that pipe in? Uh, there's, there's a pipe here needed. Why, why are you bringing over another one of those things? I mean, how many... How many pipe valves do we need? Or had you actually put that uh, put that one in yet? Oh, that was the ghost of a pipe valve, which doesn't exist until it's done. There we go. So you still got the major pipe to put in? Yeah, there's a box of major pipes coming in. Pipe large. Okay, so the guards are just going to sort of wander around at random at the moment because I can't assign patrols to them, which is I. I do need a guard permanently stationed here to open and close these doors, because because um, they're jail doors. Uh, the workmen can't actually open them without a guard to do it for them. So we're currently on minus 200 daily cash flow, but once we get prisoners, we should get a larger stipend from the government. So I'm just going to speed it up now. Keep an eye on the road and what the workmen are doing. And we're just waiting till morning, I think. I don't think there's anything else major I've forgotten. That's going to be the laundry. We have capacity for eight prisoners, and we're getting eight prisoners. So once these eight prisoners arrive, I'm going to turn off prisoner intake until the first cell block is ready. But it's good to sort of test, test the prison with less prisoners. Because I've never played this game before. I'm probably going to skip ahead until the prisoners show up, because I can't think of anything else I need to tell the workmen to do right now. Um, except possibly put a staff door in the end here. So, uh, staff door... there. Because that's all supposed to be um, work people only. Is there a fence there? There is a fence there. That, that really shouldn't be there. Um, Demolish that, and that way the door will be there. I'm a bit confused by that. Let's see what he does. Yep, that looks better. <laughs> it instantly turn, turned into garbage, and the flies showed up instantly. I'm not sure why the flies are so interested in, um, in a bit of garbage. I mean, in a bit of garbage, why the flies are so interested in eating a fence. Um, now, I realise that all this space is here, but this door is going to close once the prisoners show up. Um, this door we're going to lock open. And that door is already locked open. So that way the prisoners will be able to go like that relatively easily. Um, the staff doors will lock. Hmm, I mean, in the case of a riot, the uh, the admin block is actually a bit vulnerable because there's like a normal door, a normal door, and then just some staff doors. Hopefully it won't ever actually come to that. Um, so I was going to skip ahead, but there's now only an hour left bef before the prisoners show up. Um, the chefs are already cooking because uh, there's an eat time coming up at 10. And if there were prisoners here, the prisoners would be working in there as well. A lot of my workmen are sitting idle, but oops. Um, but that's fine. They'll have plenty to do in a moment. Okay, coming up to eight o'clock, and then this prison should activate. I don't think prisoners will get food from the deliveries, but if they do, this thing is set up that they should, you know, should be able to. There we go. 
Uh, prisoners arrive on the back of a flat a flatbed truck, along with some ingredients. <laughs> well, if he was hungry, then you know. And if you notice how these doors have now closed, so that uh, that guard has to open and close the doors for everyone. The guard is also going out and collecting prisoners, and these guards are heading over as well. Now, I'm hoping these prisoners will be in the prison by the time it's time to eat, because when prisoners show up, they're often rather hungry, because they've just had a long journey on the back of a flatbed truck. Which which route? Okay, you're just going to drop you're just going to drop him in deliveries to start with. Okay. You can see these prisoners are manacled. That means they cannot really move around on their own. Who have we got? We've got uh, Stephen Coombs. Um, prisoner Richard Pratt. Tim Lee. <laughs> you can get sort of... Um, you can look up information about your prisoners. Uh, I believe. Oh, okay. You don't do it that way. What did you, did you? Did you click on them? Yeah, there you go. Uh, most of them are just sort of randomly generated by the game. Some prisoners are one of the tiers you could get um, in the Kickstarter was to get your name into the game. Basically, you could um, write, uh, uh, write, uh, uh, write a bio for the prisoner. How come Pratt is all the way over there? Is he wandering off? Okay, there we go. The guards are going to grab them and bring them into the holding cell. You can see it's, it's already almost 10 o'clock. So, it's because I don't really have many guards at the moment. Um, oh look, and here comes another prisoner. Fair enough. I see. Having it eat at eight, and new coming prisoners have no, no chance whatsoever of of getting food. Um, these ones, some of them might get the food because it's going to be eat time in a moment. There you go. So it's eat time. So that prisoner should head on over to here. And what have we got? We've got cooked stuff. Uh, what is that? Something called green porridge. Is that all you've made? So much for variety, and he heads. Oh, um, I don't. I don't know where he's headed. He's either using the loo or the telephone, but he obviously isn't interested in eating. Oh well. Um, what? What? Was he smelly, and that's why you decided to escort him straight to the shower? <laughs> Anyone actually going to eat? Notice that I have no line of sight here. Now my chefs give me a very small radius. Um, it's the guards who can actually um, actually show you what's going on. And, and until I invent CCTV or get more guards, I really don't know what's going on inside that canteen. So I just want to see whether or not these prisoners are going to get settled okay. Let me speed this up a little bit. I can always pause it if something nas uh, nasty happens. Build a shower. <sighs> See, I'm meant to have a shower for my detention centre, but the moment I designate them, it gets all unhappy. Is it because it's a normal door? If I made those prison doors, let me uh, let me experiment with that. Okay. Um, objects. Dismantle objects. Is that the door or the grate? It did both. <sighs> I didn't want to do both. Well, we'll experiment. We'll see whether or not the second drain is needed. I think if there's a drain immediately under the shower, then then there shouldn't uh, shouldn't be any water spread. So my thinking is that if I put jail doors on there and lock them open, it will count as a separate area, which it seems with normal doors it doesn't. That's that's what I'm hoping. And then I'll be able to de uh, designate those as showers and finish my actual de uh, de uh, detention centre. Anyone actually going to pick up poor old Mark Borton because he's just been sat there all this time. Okay, prisoners are now on free time which means the food is being cleared away and he's getting some exercise. He's just running around the yard. He's he's sitting. There was someone heading to watch TV and so on. Let's actually slow this down down to normal time because it's going, it's going a, bit, a, a bit quick. At least the prisoners don't show up and okay, you need that second grade. <laughs> Because um, we've uh, we flooded this already. Okay, um, let's put a second drain there. There, we'll put those drains back in, and we're gonna put jail doors there, 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 and there. And I'm hoping that will let me designate the showers properly. <laughs> yep, yep, but. We're just flooding the place. <laughs> There's been a bit of a design flaw here. 
Okay, so my workmen are coming over with the uh, with the extra drains and the jail and the jail doors. I wonder if it's because the door uh, the drains are there. Is that making the doors not work as separate areas or something annoying like that? We'll find out. Okay, I've got a rooms and shower. And once those doors are in, I'll try designating the showers. Nope. It breaks that instantly. Why? 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 <sighs> oh. Um, I'm really not sure what to do about that. Um. Okay, we're going to have a bit of a massive redesign here. So, let me pause it while I do this. Okay, we're going to demolish... Yep, okay, we'll demolish that wall, that wall, that wall, that wall, that wall, and that wall. And we're going to put in some fresh brick walls there, there, there. Um, actually, cancel those. Actually, no, we'll want that one and that one. And then, like that, we'll put jail doors in there and there. And we need to... Oops. No, that, that's the drain. I want the door. Jail door. Dismantle. I should have dismantled these before I bought the other ones, actually. No, that's the drain. Come on. Jail door. Oh, I can't be bothered. Um, dis dismantle object. Just dismantle. Dismantle, dismantle. Okay. And go. Huh. See the work, uh, the workmen have to wait for the doors to be opened now by the guards. Where are the guards? Okay. There's one, wand uh, one wandering around in there. And one wandering around in the canteen. Okay, that's... Relatively intelligent places the guards have decided to go. Uh, there's no actual work for the prisoners to do at the moment, so work time counts as free time. So these prisoners are, curr are currently in the lap of luxury. <laughs> Getting 500 extra money a turn. Um, see, our capacity is actually showing as nothing because... <laughs> because that isn't working as a holding cell. Hopefully it will be once these walls and the jail doors go in. Go objects. Oh, I've just realised it's, pos it's possible that it's because of how I designated the holding cells, and that's the problem. Because um, there were still bits of the shower area that were counted as a holding cell. Let me cancel that as a holding cell and cancel that as a holding cell. There we go. That now counts as a holding cell. I kind of like this, uh, like this, uh, this design a bit better anyway. Is that contents jail door? Oh, it's a box. Jail doors. Yeah, let's let's uh, lock these open. Lock open. Then we're gonna go objects. Well, okay, no room. Designate showers. Rooms. Rooms. Showers. Okay, you're a shower. You're a shower. Objects, zoom in, and then it will highlight. Have shower head, shower head, and drain, drain. There we go, we'll just cover the floor in drains. Shower heads, do you want to get the garbage out of the showers? There we go, I've completed that one. Um, Feed prisoners. You can see sort of uh, the number of prisoners that are hungry and stuff like that. That's okay. Uh, more of them should get to eat because they'll all be sat here waiting because they've got nothing else to do. <laughs> um, when is the eat time in the evening? Well, the chefs are bringing out the food, so it must be soon. Don't know whether or not they're using these the uh, these toilets. So how are we doing? 
holding cell. Yep, showers. It says holding cell there because this here is designated as the holding cell as well. What I might do is put another set of jail doors there just so I can have the holding cell just be that bit. Kind of makes sense to me. So, object, large jail door, put it there. Nope, that's just click on the prisoner. These drains are all going in. That drain looks like it's not not quite in the right place, but I'm sure it is. Is that door going in the right way around, or did I forget to rotate it? No, there it is. Right. Okay, large large jail door. Um, lock shut. Door mode normal. Why can't I? Why can't I lock that open? I really don't. I really don't want them to have to ask a guard every time they want to go in the shower. Okay. Lock open. Okay. Lock. Lock shut. Door mode normal. That is annoying. Oh, that is. I don't understand why that isn't working. Okay. Um. I will get rid of it. This. This. Dismantle. It's not letting me dismantle it. Ah, alpha game is still in alpha. Dismantle, dismantle, dismantle. I don't want that door on. I don't want that door uh, door there anymore. Oh. <sighs> Rooms, holding cell. Cancel that. So that isn't the holding cell anymore. Oh, there we go. Lock open. Ah, it must be because it was designated as part of, as part of a room. Okay, there we go. So now they have access to their showers, which I believe I've assigned. Have I? Rooms. Yeah, I can just about see the word shower in both of those places. Excellent. Okay, how are we doing? It's currently work time. Okay, eat time. So um, all the food is ready. We've got. Uh, looks like we've got. What's that? Um, some form of stew, maybe with mushrooms and boiled cabbage. <laughs> Great. But you can see the prisoners go over. Because I've got um, um, I've got it set to medium meal sizes, they get to fill up two uh, two of the positions on there. He really uh, he really wants to go to sleep. You can see he's thinking sleep. I want to sleep. He's saying he wants some more privacy, and he's a little bit annoyed um, annoyed by that. It's going to be sleep time in a bit, and I don't understand because there's nothing stopping them going and sleeping in their free time. Maybe they don't like sleeping in a holding cell during their free time. Okay, oh, I was going to turn off pri uh, prisoner intake, wasn't I? So I don't get any more. There we go. Okay. Um, I think that's all the teething problems with this basic setup done. So I can start my workman thinking about other stuff. Um, how goes our bureaucracy? Um, we've got maintenance. We still think. Are we still think? Uh, okay. We've got mental health. So I'm going to hire a psychologist. Um, it means we can track track the stuff a bit better. So obviously we've got to make him an office. So uh, objects go to office, office desk, like that, a chair, and a filing cabinet. Like so. So that will make make him an office. I'll wait till after midnight and then I will hire the psychologist. Again, it saves on um, stuff. Money. Moolah. Cash. Wazonga. I don't think Wazonga is actually a term for money, is it? <laughs> looking, looking. Anything else happening? Free time. Now, those ones who were complaining about wanting to go to sleep, like that guy there, is he going to go and, and have a kip in one of these beds? Come on, Hale. You say you're sleepy, so go to sleep. Yeah, they're a bit annoyed by the lack of privacy. See, now, he said he was sleepy, but what does he do? He goes and has a shower. Now, Hale, are you going to go uh, go to sleep in one of these beds? Come on. You're moving very slowly. You're obviously tired. Nope. Nope. Apparently, he won't actually go to sleep. Okay, the chefs are cleaning up. 
Uh, that's why you need to have at least some of them, because um, unless you have work time immediately after meals, the prisoners aren't going to help with the washing up. Hmm, which may maybe I should think about that, you know, just to have like um, an extra hour's work after meal times. I mean, the prisoners who have to go to the work uh, workshops aren't um, aren't um, aren't going to be able to get there in time to actually do any good, but the ones who work with the kitchen can at least help wash up. Uh, I think that's the stuff that's still being still being researched. Um, yeah, yeah, because mental health isn't on that list. So after midnight yet? Yeah, nope. I'll speed it up until Liz. I'm not sure. Sure, there's anything else I want to start my workmen doing yet. Um, once it's midnight, we'll hire the psychologist. We'll get the uh, get the extra grants. Well, we'll get the grant for a cell block, and then we'll actually build our first cell block. Uh, sleep time. Yep, they're all um, they're all zedding uh, away. Now, one of the things I do want to do, let's go to normal time, is now they're asleep. I'm now going to disturb them by doing a shakedown. Um, when prisoners come into the prison, they're often full of contraband. Now, what Shakedown does is it tells the guards to search everything. You can see that they're going to wake up the prisoners one by one and give them a search. And then they're going to search the beds, they're going to search the toilets, they're going to search the door. Yeah, because obviously they may have hidden, sam um, hidden sam uh, something in the door. Anyway, so this, this is going to annoy the prisoners ever so slightly. Um, they don't like being unnecessarily searched. They don't. Uh, they don't like their sleep being disturbed. But I need to check for contraband. I don't. I don't have any solitary cells yet. So if you know. So if if any of them are guilty of it, then there's not much I can do about it. Okay, it's after midnight. So let's get my psychologist. Drop him into there. There we go. Now we can go reports. Uh, needs. We can see what the prisoners are thinking and feeling. So, a lot of them want sleep, but most of them are sleeping. So, uh, the blue line means it's actively being fulfilled right uh, right now. Green is satisfied, yellow is medium, and then orange is high. They have a high need, need for, uh, for privacy, so I really have to get those cell blocks done. And some of them are starting to think about, hey, I've got dirty clothing here. Um... But that's because I do not have a laundry yet, because I've not actually invented prison labour. And there's no... You uh, you can't hire a civilian laundry person. Oh, okay, we found a spoon. Yep, see, uh, we found a spoon. No idea where it came from. Probably got stolen from the canteen. That's it. Um, I think all we did was find a spoon. So all I can do at the moment is confiscate stuff from people. Uh, see, there's one awaiting solitary confinement and one in lockdown. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> that guy there is just mal is just manacled to his bed right uh, right now, and we do not have a solitary. Uh, he's in lockdown for an hour. He's awaiting two hours in um, in solitary because they found drugs. Okay, this guy he they just found tools. Prisoners steal spoons and stuff so they can tunnel with them. <laughs> so um, what was I going to do? It's after midnight. We've done our lockdown. Let me pause it for a moment. Go to reports, grants. Um, we get 20 grand to build a cell block. It's time to build your first cell block and transfer the existing prisoners into cells of their own. So there we go. That's given me 20,000 um, in advance and I get another 10 grand. Raise your prison capacity to 15 via a cell block. Okay. So, I need to lay out what's going to make a good cell block here. Um, I'll probably build it onto the edge of this, because that will save me having to build a bit of wall. So, let me go to planning. Um, objects, pathways. Um, I know I, I'm going to put in concrete paths along here that people said so my workmen can walk faster to and throw from, uh, from deliveries. But I've only got 35 grand, so I want to lay out this cell block before I do anything else. So I'm going to use pathways to simulate um, a prison cell. The requirements for a cell is 2 by 3 surrounded by walls and doors. Um, hmm, planning. Objects. So yeah, so at minimum 2 by 3 So that's the minimum size. And obviously you've got a bed in there. 
and a toilet, and then that's... Now, I was trying to work out whether or not if I made the room 3x3, three three, so just a little bit larger than the minimum, could I give them a bit of privacy in their toilet? And I can't really think of a way to do it easily. Um, that, ah, that, uh, there just isn't room, really, so let me just cancel all that. Let's go to rooms, cells. And let's actually lay this out. So, do I want do I want them that way? Oh, okay, I can't do it because yeah, I can't do it that way. Um, I think we'll try that. So that's going to be a cell, and then we've and then we're sticking out the back uh, the back of the building. So let's try the other way. Two, three by two, and then we're also sticking out the back of the building. So I'll go the way I like it. So unfortunately, you can only have a single bed per cell, um, which I know well from what I've seen in American films. Seems common in America, you know, in some American high security prisons. But in Britain, in general, it's a bunk bed. So they need to add bunk beds to this game. So. Um, We're going to raise our capacity to 15. That's quite a bit, isn't it? Hmm. Not that much space. Oops. So what if we made... That like that. Have a bit of room in the middle? No. Just do... So the, uh, the, uh, this is what's going to be the cells. That's that's what I'm designating here. I'm trying to work out. So that would be eight. No, that that'd be ten. And I could put another one over here, couldn't I? But it's going to be more efficient to make it in the same building. And then they're going to need need somewhere to shower as well. Ah, okay. Um, I'll be back once I've worked this out. Okay, I decided to put it over this side rather than that side. Um, simply because, I mean, I don't have to limit myself to the edge of that building, and I, and I probably won't. But for now, let's just line our cell blocks down here. Um, so we can get 16 in there. For now, they can use the showers here. Um, once we get 16 prisoners, though, then that might not be enough, and we'll maybe put a shower block here. I'm thinking if I put a shower block and some cleaning cupboards, or a really large cleaning cupboard here, that'd be good, because that way it'll be nice and central. If I put a central shower block and cleaning cupboards, um, then the prisoners will can maybe line, line these blocks uh, down on this side, and then on this side from it. And we'll still have this area here for our workshops and stuff like that. So, let me... Oh, I set this back one. I decided not to share that wall. Reason being is I re is I remembered that I put this uh, large water pipe there. Now, the thing with large water pipes is that if the prisoners tunnel to them, they can start going at high speed. So, obviously, um, we're starting this pretty close, so they won't have far to tunnel. But I'll do shakedowns often enough. Hopefully, none of them will get there. Um, the only other thing I'm thinking suddenly is... The toilets are going to go probably there, and that's very close to the wall. So, for this last set of cells, what I might do is reverse that. But then that uh, then that will be really irritating. Um, so why don't I? We'll make it a series of T shapes, and that way it'll be more more pleasing visually, hopefully. Uh, like that. There we go. And that way the toilets are slightly further away from the outer wall. Um, if I could afford it, I'd put um, one of those massive retaining walls around, but those are like $200 per square. So let's see how much this this this, uh, this little lot will cost me. So, um, foundations, building, goes in like that. Requires an entrance, object, 
jail door goes there. And then we'll go internal walls, materials, uh, brick wall, and we will do this. Are these registering? I'm not sure they are. Don't know why. Maybe it's... Okay, come on. Brick. Brick walls. Let me... It's not taking... It's not taking any money for those. Um... Let's... Let's let the workmen build... Uh, build the basic foundation to start with. Because I'm not sure why the brick walls aren't... Aren't... Aren't going in. <sighs> They are going to have to go this way, which means a guard will have to open that up for them. <laughs> I don't want to open up this this fence yet. The idea is, is that we'll be relatively secure, and then I can just expand the yard down. I hear the prisoners snoring away. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. My workmen are working. We'll find out whether uh, whether or not those walls thing. I think maybe if you start doing walls within a foundation before the, uh, bef uh, before the foundation is completed, the game do uh, doesn't like it that much. Where is all that noise coming from? It's not them. Oh, the canteen is simply always always noisy. <laughs> Chefs just wandering around the kitchen, twiddling their thumbs. Who are you? Um, am I lacking an office for someone? Who are you? You're the psychologist. I've got two psychologists? What? Why do I have two two psychologists? Uh, um, do you not identify... Yeah, no. We're going to fire one of you. I don't need two psychologists. And you're just going to keep keep claiming that, uh, that, that, uh, that room there, even though it's not actually a proper office. Okay, okay. Um, office cancel. Go on, claim that one. There we go. So now you're actually heading for a proper psychologist's office. Okay, we'll just cancel that one as well to avoid confusion in the future. Okay, how goes this? Okay, this is now built, so we'll go materials, brick walls, and hopefully... Yes. Oh, and we actually need to put that brick wall in there. So... Yep, so lesson learned, you can't build internal walls until the actual thing is built. And let me just... Let me just lock that open. There we go. Okay, we're at work time, but the prisoners don't have any actual work to do, so they're going to keep zedding away. Did I not have some free time before then? Where's the regime? Yeah, free time, but they didn't want to wake up then either, so... Work time counts as free time as far as the prisoners are currently concerned, so they're going to get plenty of sleep. <laughs> if we go to reports, prisoner needs... Yeah, none of them really need sleep, but they're just going to keep sleeping. The hygiene's going up, but none of them wake up and actually go to the... And actually, okay, some of them have woken up. They're going to go go have a shower now? No, they're all going to run to the loose first. Let's just slow this down again now the prisoners are awake so I can keep track of this. What are you going to do? Going to go use the toilet? Yes, okay, good, good. They're, they're using the toilets in there because there's only four toilets in there and there's eight beds. So the excess ones have gone there. Looks like a number of people have started showering. This is all good. Um... Excellent. You have done all those walls by the look of it. So you're removing lights which were in where the walls were. Like that there. You know, to do move light to storage. Um, oh look, he's tightrope walking on top of this fence. And then he's just dropping down inside side the canteen. Does this thing not have a roof? That makes little to no sense. Anyway, um, utilities. Let's get this thing utilityed up. Electrical cable's going to have to come down from somewhere. Um, how do I want to do this? I think that's going to be the most cost effective. We'll do that. And then that. 
like that, and we'll put a switch in there, power switch. And what I might do is put some staff doors there. Uh, objects, staff doors, 100 each. Yeah, I'll put a staff door there, because we don't really want the prisoners to be able to wander into these areas where all the valves and stuff are going to be. Uh, we'll go utilities again, and we'll think about how to do this. Hmm. I really want a valve pipe, don't I? Where are the loos going? The loos are going to go there. There's not, not going to be an easy way to do this, unfortunately. What I can do is move, is move that valve pipe there. If I dismantle that and put a valve pipe there instead. And then we can put small pipe uh, like so and like so. That might not stretch far enough, in which case I'll think uh, think about it again when and when that becomes a problem. I have no idea how long uh, how long this episode is going, so I'm just going to pause it for a moment. Okay, we're coming up on an hour, so what I'll try and do is get this cell block finished and turn on my prisoner intake for the new day. Uh, we need lots of objects, don't we? Uh, beds. Right, which way around do we want the beds? I can put them that way. Yeah. Put them that way there. Yeah, that makes sense to me. So, there and there. There, there, there. And there, and we'll spin them around. Lots of money on beds. I mean, they give you 20 grand for this, 30 grand in total, but once you've bought all the beds, the jail doors, and the toilets, it soon mounts up. So, put the toilets in like this. Spin them around, put them in facing the other way. Hundred dollars, not bad. I mean, these toilets are made of metal. They're not, you know, not especially nice to sit on. They don't really have a separate seat or anything like that because they're designed to, to put up with the abuses of prisoners. Yes, you abusive people. Um, am I not researching this stuff? Everything is stuck at five hours. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, the warden researches those things. I need to hire a maintenance guy and a security guy before I can do that. Okay, so I need two more offices and I need to hire those people. Okay. Um, objects. I did not realize I've never played this game before. Please do not shout at me too much in the comments. Okay, desk, chair. Um, file, uh, no, filing cabinet. They're both green, so I got confused. Put that there, and we want one more down here, one more set. Uh, filing cabinet we'll put there, desk. Where are the desks? Why can't I find a desk? Desk, office desk. There, with a chair. There. And then we'll designate these rooms as offices again. One, two, and we will hire those two people once their offices are built. How are we doing down here? Pretty good. Utilities. Do I have to expand the... No, they still haven't built it. So. Prisoners are prisonering away. Could probably give them some workbenches out there. Um, not work... Workbenches. Weights. Weight benches. They like weights. It uh, gives them exercise and keeps them happy. Although, I've always thought that letting prisoners build up their muscles... I mean, you know, you don't want prisoners to be unhealthy, but... You know, do you really want them to become muscle-bound and stronger than your guards? That just strike uh, strikes me as not very wise. Is this going to be ready in time? Because I would like to be able to turn on my prisoner intake. Because these eight people, this is a 16 capacity cell block. So those eight people are fine. And 
if we get given another 8, or even a little bit over 8, it should be fine, because we've still got... This will always be an overflow. Uh, when you turn on prisoner intake, it gives you a random number. So, having a little bit of overflow me uh, means you can accept prisoners when otherwise you might have someone who's wandering around and doesn't have anywhere to go at night. I could put a staff door in there, or... Let's actually go materials, fence. If I do this, then once they've built that, I can get rid of the um, get rid of the fence fence there, and it should should speed up the uh, the construction massively because the workmen won't have to keep going around there. Twenty two thousand, and I have placed. Oh, I've not placed everything I need yet, have I? Because there's the um, cell doors still. Um, objects, jail doors. Let's whack these down so I know how much money I've got left. Like so. Are these offices done? No, no, my workmen are too busy. <laughs> I'm giving them a bit too much to do. Let's speed things up. Keep an eye on things. My prisoners okay? How are my prisoners' needs? Um, yeah, clothing and environment and privacy are becoming critical. Hopefully once these offices are done, I can get a cleaning cupboard so they can start cleaning up after themselves. Uh, family, they're fulfilling with the telephones, so I, don't, I do not need a visitor centre quite yet. They can do their own bladder needs. Clothing and environment are becoming a little bit of an issue. Um, when they introduced clothing, they used to actually kick off and start rioting with, uh, when they had dirty clothes. That that doesn't happen as often anymore. Uh, let me go... Can I go... Deployment? Now, what's this sort of... These... They put the jail doors in before they installed the rest of the stuff. You... You little annoying people, you. Um, okay, we're going to have to... Uh, I can't be bothered. The guards will just will just have to keep running over. I mean, I was going to go uh, go in and lock all those doors open, but then I'm just... But then I'll just have to go in and set them all manually again to other side. If I had deployment, I could just click on the building and say, unlock everything. But I don't have that... Um, I don't actually have that uh, that ability yet. I don't have the people needed to actually research it because I was a moron and I sat here for absolutely ages just going what why, why aren't they researching why aren't, why aren't they researching and I didn't actually think about it okay um, got some workmen have locked themselves in well done okay this fence is going in now which is good because I'll be able to tell them to demolish this one so we'll go materials, demolish walls, and get ready. Don't want to do it quite yet. Just one workman working on that fence. Oh, two of them now. That's good. So we will demolish those. There we go. The workman should work out that there's a lot quicker path available to them now. Except for him. He's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you're going to go around there and you're going to find out the path is blocked. Yeah, I built a fence. <laughs> he obviously, you know, no one told uh, told him. You know, the fence wasn't there the last time he looked. How are we doing for utilities? I still got some of these pipes to put in. Come on. Um, there we go. So hopefully that should be... Yep, they've all stopped flashing for water now. So the pipe can reach far enough. And you've put in a stopcock and removed that one. Uh, utilities, let me make sure the pipe's still there. Yes, everything there is happy. We've got power everywhere, have we? Yeah, some of these rooms do not have lights. Do I have lights? Lights. I've got eight lights in storage. Um... I kind of reckon that each of these things 
you know, they could do with a light. Otherwise it gets a bit dark. Utilities, lights don't actually show up. <laughs> Objects, lights. See, there's obviously a light there. But, I can't... Oh yeah, okay, the lights do show up. Very, very gently, okay. Dismantle. I'm dismantling the excess lights now. What I want is a light by the door. Everywhere. There we go. That's a well-lit cell block. Um, we are after midnight, so let me make sure we go rooms, cells. Designate those as cells and those. We happy with that? We are. Grant complete, 10,000 payment. We will go reports, uh, prisoners, turn on intake. Eight prisoners arriving at 8 a.m. Excellent. My guard should start moving these prisoners. Yeah, all these prisoners have been shackled up because they're going to move to their new cells. We're going to extend the... Let's go to normal time. Uh, we're going to extend the yard. Where is the yard? Okay, the yard now goes all the way down there. So the prisoners have got a, lo a little more room to exercise. Um, that's it. We've got our first cell block. We have a prison capacity official now of 16, plus a few extras in, um, in the holding cells. These offices have been made, so we will go staff. Um... We needed a foreman. Now, don't hire more than one. It tried to hire twice. There's definitely a bug here, but I'm only allowed one. So, And I think a chief. Yeah, see, every time I click, it tries to hire two at a time, which is really annoying. Um, so now when I go to bureaucracy, see, he is... You can see that they're, they're actually ticking down now. So they're actually re uh, researching all the stuff. Excellent. Okay, close that. Um, prisoners have been moved into their cells. As I understand it, these doors will automatically open when it's no longer sleep time. Um, workmen are just finishing off the, f uh, the few lights which need to be positioned. Yep, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay. We are now going to work on the paths. Well, I'm going to tell. I'm. I'm going to put down the paths, and then that will be it for this episode. So, um, is it under objects? No materials. Concrete tiles. Walk speed fast. Okay. Let me make sure we. Can I actually put a concrete tile there? It's not. It's not letting me. Okay. It is that one I want, isn't it? Walk speed. Paving stones outdoors only. I like. Well, we'll put paving stones outside, I think. Um, we'll put paving stones outside and concrete floors inside. So, we go all the way along this main walk corridor like that. Paving stones, 610. We will... Oh, why is this so, diff so difficult to see at night? We will paving stone deliveries garbage and that. So that gives them a slightly faster walking area there. Um, we may as well blow some more money on this stuff. So white tiles for in there. White tiles for the canteen. I don't want to leave tiling to the last minute. So, so that's the showers and Concrete tiles. Everywhere else. Concrete tiles in the, um... Ooh, stone. So, oh, walking speed normal. You really want to um, avoid that. That's $50 per square. We're not doing that. Mosaic floors. Fancy tiles. White tiles. Marble tiles. 
Hmm, marble tiles aren't bad. I'm trying to... I'm thinking of the prisoner's cells here. Um, I think we'll give them marble tiles. There we go. Marble tiles. And we'll go with concrete tiles everywhere else. There we go. Pretty good. A um, few spaces I've missed out. White tiles, white tiles, white tiles, white tiles. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna be the laundry, so we can have white tiles as well. Concrete tiles speed up storage. And um, hmm, I know I'm blowing all my money, but you know I'm gonna pause it at this point because I do not want these prisoners arriving. Uh, we'll go with mo uh, mosaic floors in the offices as well. There we go. Um, that's 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 all the areas that I've already got. Well, that you know they aren't actually tiled yet, but they're going to be tiled. <laughs> My workmen have got their work cut out for them. Um, two hours until uh, new prisoner intakes comes, which will put our prison at maximum capacity. Hopefully uh, we will have done uh, prison labour, deployment, cleaning, and all that stuff um, in the next episode. I will see you then. Bye-bye.